People often talk about poaching as a war, and uh, it, it really is. Poachers make a move, you analyze, you, you know, recompose, you make a move, and so forth. And uh, ultimately, this is not a war we wanna, we wanna lose. So I'm on my way to a crime scene, um, not far from here. And it's a heinous crime. It's a, if the victim is a young mother, um, apparently with five children and uh, the body has just been dumped, badly mutilated and dumped in a riverbed. Um, and sadly, this kind of crime is on the increase in South Africa. Right, so I've met up with Matt and uh, he will be taking me through to see the remains. So, when I actually first came down here, um, I noticed meat hanging over there. There's still remains of it, which was a little bit strange. I mean, not much will hang up meat except for humans. You come down here, see the remains of what's left of her. And um, what these poachers did was actually skinned her. They cut off all of her limbs. Um, so she was pretty much unrecognizable. And that's why it took me so long to actually realize that it was a cheetah. We know this cheetah um, quite well because uh, recently she gave birth to five cubs. And uh, yeah, there's more to the story. So what about her cubs? I mean, now she's dead. Um, how did you go about trying to track them down? About a month ago, whilst monitoring collars and, and her satellite updates and logs, we realized she was spending a lot of time in one particular spot and uh, decided to go back to that area where she continuously kept GPS updating and uh, walked a bit, walked a bit, and to my, to my surprise lay five little tiny cubs. A cheetah are a very endangered species, so you know every single life counts. Um, so immediately after we found uh, their mother in the snare, we decided to go and create a massive search operation to try and find these cubs. Um, these amazing gentlemen over here helped with that as well. Luckily they stayed in one area and they didn't move too far because they were quite small. At this stage they were just over a month old. Um, we actually managed to catch four and took them immediately to, um, to a veterinary hospital in Pretoria um, to give them the best care that they needed. And they had obviously been without their mom for a few days and were quite hungry so we wanted to get them there as soon as possible. On our way back from transporting them they had uh, found the, the last cub. So uh, we got that one to, to care as well. We knew that over the last year, poaching was going to be on the increase, but we had no idea what we were in store for. Five tiny little helpless cheetah cubs. It's a tragic story, but out of this tragedy, we hope there's this potential for hope and for some goodness. It's a miracle that these five cubs were found. It's a miracle that they even survived. The biggest miracle is going to be when these five are released back into the wild and therefore we've decided to call these five cubs the Miracle Five. We believe that their story is going to inspire several other miracles in the wildlife world. So unlike the lions at the sanctuary, they have a shot at being able to be returned back to the wild and this therefore opens up a whole new chapter uh, at the sanctuary. For many years we've been wondering what are we going to do at the sanctuary when all the lions eventually pass on and it seems as though these cheetah have come to point us in the right direction. So the Miracle 5 will be rewilded over a period of two years. We've worked it out, it's going to cost $4,000 per month to get these guys to that two-year mark. That $4,000 is going to provide all the necessary care that they need, the full-time attention, the veterinary intervention, um, the good nutrition, as well as building them a rewilding camp where they can hone their skills at hunting. We are looking for exactly 800 people to contribute $5, that's $1 per cub, per month for two years. We see it as these 800 people basically becoming the surrogate family of these little cheetah cubs and uh, for that we will be producing what's what we will call the miracle five cheetah diaries 
and in those diaries which we'll be sending out to you guys you will get updates on how they're doing their little personalities um, some pictures etc uh, you'll get to really follow their journey up to the two-year period when they get released back into the wild furthermore you will be getting your name put on a plaque the 800 names that commit over the two years their names will be put on a plaque and hung up at the sanctuary marking the start of the next chapter at the Kevin Richardson Wildlife Sanctuary. The start of history in the making, the start of the sanctuary becoming a, a wildlife rehabilitation center. If you don't make the first 800, really don't stress. Um, there's a much bigger picture at play, a much bigger goal. What we don't want is to raise these cubs to the tender age of two, release them back into the wild, and they meet the same fate as their poor mother. So any donations over and above that $4,000 a month that we need to get them to two will go straight into the anti-poaching efforts of uh, the Deniken Game Reserve. Because what we want to do is ensure that when they are released, that they are released back into a very safe environment. So guys, don't miss out on this amazing opportunity um, to join the foundation as it starts a new chapter and a new adventure. Please follow the link uh, to join and sign up and to become part of the Miracle Fives global family. Thank you.